My name is Thomas Vale. Or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. A wife, Allison, friends, a career. And in one moment, it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. going to take some time, Tom. You're in the hospital. You haven't used your vocal cords in almost three months now. Uh, uh, hospital? What? Easy, Tom. I'm Dr. North. I'm head neurologist here at St. Michael's Hospital. That's where you are. Could you try and move your feet for me, Tom? Good. That's very good. Now, try and follow this light. What's going on? Please, Tom, I just need to run a few more basic tests. What's going if you could just... You were in a car accident, Tom. Things were pretty close there for a while. You've been in a coma for three months. A coma? Three months? You have no idea yet, but you're a very lucky man to have come through it this well, Tom. Well, I don't want to move too fast, but there's someone here who might do a better job of bringing a smile to your face. Hi, baby. Welcome back. I can walk by myself. Hospital regulations. I've had a week of physical therapy. I'm not disabled. You'll have plenty of time to prove that when you get home. So is this the way it's going to be? What did you expect? I don't know. You know, maybe that you'd be as happy to see me as I am to see you. Well, the last two times I saw you, Allison, you weren't exactly on my side. <laughs> the doctor's in on this. He's part of it. On your side? Fraternizing with Dr. Bellamy, cooking a Christmas turkey, or, or maybe that was part of the nightmare I had while I was supposedly in a coma. I keep talking about this. The doctor explained it, Tom. The things that people see when they're, when they're in your condition, that none of it is real. There is no them. There is no enemy. It's just you and me. 
Like always. Because we have different views of always. Tom, think about it. If if what you described in your nightmares was real, then, then how do you explain this? You're here. I'm here being discharged from the hospital this morning, being in the hospital in the first place. I don't know, but just because you can't explain something doesn't make the opposite of that something the truth. You're telling me that your opening's not real either? What opening? The opening that we've both worked so hard to get. Your show, the photos. I didn't want to cancel it. I thought it would be bad luck. seat of my car. I've never seen him before in my life. I've never He's seen insane. him before in my life. He's insane. He's insane. Are you all right? Stop the car. I, I can't. I, I'm in the middle of traffic. I said stop the car. Tom! Sir, you Thomas Vail. This is this is my studio. You can't just come in here without permission. Mr. Vail, please. It's private property. Get out of here. We're not here to hurt you. We're not even here to arrest you. Well, that's a relief. Your, your wife sent us here. I'm she worried sick about you, Mr. Vail. We're here to take you home. Place, sir? Yeah. Thank you. You might want to go easy, Mr. Vale. Take some time off to adjust to things. Who are you? Come on, what the hell is going on? Hey, Nelson, you all right? Whether you believe it or not, I am your wife and I love you. Now, in the future, no matter how scared you get, don't do anything like that again. I, I don't think my heart can take it. I, if I said anything to upset you, I'm sorry. I get scared too, you know?
place looks like it always did. Why shouldn't it? Well, that's right, yeah. And it's only been three months I've been in the hospital. What's going on, Allison? What's the game this time? Tom, what are you talking about? Well, all this, the house, the hospital, telling me I'm back a few days before this whole thing started. What's the point? What do you hope to gain? So, hey, who called the cops? Larry, what are you doing back? I mean, it's great to see you. I just didn't expect. I thought you'd call first. What, give you time to pack and move? No way. <laughs> so you had a good sleep, huh? You look the same to me. Don't do that. What, what is it, my aftershave? Did, did I forget to shower? It's me, buddy, in the flesh. What are you trying to prove? I, I'm not trying to prove anything, Tom. I, I heard you were home. I thought you'd be glad to see me. You OK, pal? Oh, so you just conveniently rose from the dead? No, I came back from Venezuela. I thought there's much of a difference. What makes either of you think I would believe this? Larry Levy is dead. Tom, please. I was there. I saw it. Larry, um, Tom's had a pretty rough week. He's uh, had some dreams, nightmares. Really, he's having a little trouble sorting out the real from the imagined. Maybe seeing you will... What? Jog my memory? I'm gonna make some coffee. Look, buddy, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't around when all this went down, but well, I'm not dead. And I did call almost every day. I watched you like a hawk. Are you afraid of losing a client? What? Tom, I thought we were friends. Where did we meet? Excuse me? Where did we meet? When was it that you and I first met? Look, this is, um, Ted's. With those two girls, Ellen and Reva, the suicidal poetesses. Where did we go after you won that copyright case for me? Tom, come on, what is this? Meet the press? Just answer me. We went to Sammy's Tavern, all right? Tom, what the hell are you doing? Dead. South America for three months. All right, let's cut the interview, all right? I had business down there. This may come as a surprise to you, but I do have other clients. Tom, look, maybe it'd just be better if I left. Wait a second, wait a second. How do you make a kamikaze kid? Uh, vodka, gin, white rum, a little fizz, and hold the parachute. sleeping. I haven't made up my mind yet. This is a very big undertaking. I'm the one who ultimately has to make that decision. But I have to know whether we're going ahead with the plans or not. I told you I haven't decided yet. He's here now. This is not a good time to talk. What about the schedule? We're supposed to be finished with it. I can't talk to you right now, okay? I will call you later. Tom. Who's on the phone? Oh, that was nothing. I asked you a question. Who was on the phone? It was just Ben. Ben? Ben who? Ben Dobbs. Your occasional assistant at the gallery. Oh, and what are your plans with Ben? Tom, please. No, what? I mean, it's my show, right? I mean, it's my opening. Is there something I'm not supposed to know about? 
Ben and I are trying to decide whether or not it's a good idea to go on with things as planned. Your opening is scheduled for tomorrow night. Ben really did most of it while I was with you at the hospital. Proficient. Everything's ready. If you are. Where is it? Where is what? We don't. Tom, you said you wanted this place to be the centerpiece of the show. Is that the wrong location? Where is Hidden Agenda? Honey, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. I'll bet you don't. I guess you don't remember filling my chemical cabinet with coffee so... Clearing out my files. What do you know? They're here. Why'd you hide the photograph, Allison? Huh? Tom, I. Tom, please! Oh, come on. What's the game? Why are you doing this? What's going on? Ben, call someone. Call the police. Ben, stay right where you are. Just tired of the game, Allison. I don't want to play anymore. So either you start coming up with some answers. We all go up in flames. I'm listening. Um, maybe if you describe the photograph, I can go... Maybe we should just end this game right now, Ben. Where is it? The place looks great, Tom. I just think you need a few more clown pictures. <laughs> Tom, what the hell are you doing? Larry, please. You're not careful, Tom. You're gonna set a fire with that thing. Well, I might just have to do that, Larry. It's the nightmares. He thinks that we've taken one of his photographs. This is the nightmare! Whoa, 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 Tom, just take it easy. Hang on. What the hell is going on? I took a photograph. It's gone. I mean, I'm not really even sure what the hell it's of anymore. All I know is that they want it. Who's they, Tom? Them. Her. And the rest of them. And you're sure about this? Man, what happened to me was real. Tom, look. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Maybe the picture was misplaced. But don't do this. It's not right. This isn't who you are, Tom. Well, maybe it's who I'm becoming. I hope not. You've always been one of the few friends I never had a doubt. If you said something, I knew I could take it to the bank. This isn't you, Tom, no matter what. Honey, if you would just listen to me. I didn't want to put you in this situation. I didn't have any choice. I, they're watching me. Buddy, come on. Let's get out of here. All right, okay, sure, sure. I'll call you. Is this photograph supposed to be? It's a photograph of an execution. Four men were hanged. You know who they are? 
No, no. I'm not sure anymore. I don't even know if I took it. And you have no idea why anyone would want it or you? No. Are you listening to yourself, Tom? I mean, taking everything you told me at face value, how does it fit? I mean, how does it all work? You were in a car accident, buddy. You were in the hospital for three months in a coma. No, you, you were in Venezuela, Larry. You weren't here. You didn't see it with your own eyes. It just seems awfully convenient, buddy, that all this happened just when I happened to be out of the country for three months. Well, or it was planned that way. I'm not crazy, Larry. These weren't dreams. No. Finding me dead stuffed in the closet wasn't a dream. No, because it wasn't you. You said no, it looked. No, listen, man, they brought somebody in. They made him look like you. Guy gets himself fixed up to look like me. Boy, he must have been hard up for a job. You got no idea what these people are capable of. If they want to make somebody look and act like you, they can do it. If they wanted Larry Levy, they found one. And then killed him? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. I just, I mean, maybe they're trying to drive me insane. Maybe think that I was losing everything. OK, OK, look, look, look. Let's say I take a slide on this one. Why? What's the point? Why make you think you were in a coma and then take the photograph that you say they're after? Because they don't really have it. But I thought you said... No, you... no, I said they wanted it. I didn't say they have it. I've got it. I just, I just, I can't remember where I was or what I was doing before this whole thing started. I just, if I could remember, I... They know me, Larry. They know I'm going to do anything to get the negative back, and that's probably exactly what they expect me to do. They're going to be there when I find it. It's pretty intense. It's a possibility, man. Then don't find it. Just ignore it. Don't give them what they want. I can't do that. It's all I've got. Yeah, yeah, but if you're right, if, if that's what they want you to do. No, it's a chance I got to take. I... I know how it sounds. I'm not crazy. Good, because I'm sure starting to feel like I am. Wait a second, wait a second. You remember when I came back from South America, I gave you an envelope, I told you to put it in your safe in your office? Yeah. There were dupes of that negative in that envelope. The photograph they're looking for, hidden agenda, is in that envelope. You're telling me that this picture is in my office safe? That's what I'm telling you. That's funny, someone turned the lights out. Damn it, breaker must have kicked. Look, the safe's in my office, wait here. I do some of my best work here in the dark. Hey, what are you? Oh! All right, you all right? God, yeah, 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 I'm fine, just get the son of a bitch. Now? Not everything in the world revolves around your problems, Tom. I think this is about one of my cases. I think they came to steal some evidence. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, this is it. The I got negatives, it. the negatives. All right, Larry. all right. Got him. This is what they came for. Yeah, but, but they didn't get it. No, I guess not. Oh, wait a second. They got him, they... Look, if you would just listen! They just left something else in its place. What? The hell did they leave? Scenes from my nightmare. Pictures from a coma. So I guess this means it's my move. Look, it's still not proof, Tom. Pictures of you in a straitjacket? For all anyone else knows, it could just be one of those self-timer thingamajigs that you took yourself. Was well, that what you believe? I didn't say it's what I believe, but and we're not talking about me. I'm telling you. 
There was no accident. There was no coma. There's no nightmares. And if nothing else, those negatives proved that to me. Well, not enough, Tom. Maybe not even for me. Hey, let me ask you something. If it wasn't a dream, if you weren't in the hospital for three months, where were you? I told you, I don't know. I mean, everything before I woke up in the hospital is it's fuzzy. You know, it's just, it's just images, just pieces. Maybe, I mean, you know, maybe somewhere I worked. I don't, I'm not sure. I, I just, I need more time to... Even without the negatives, if you can prove that you were somewhere else during the three months that Allison said that you were... Well, don't you think I've already thought of that? I'm just trying to help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where do we go from here? You willing to go with me? Up to a point. Bring some girls, I go a little farther. Play along with them. Which means? I need time. I mean, I gotta come up with something, but I need more time. The last thing I want is for them to get their guard up, so... So we'll go with the coma nightmare story, and I'll apologize to Allison, and buy some time. No chance I'm in a coma, huh? No more than usual. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Beat's getting stuffed into a closet. I'll talk to you in the morning. Allison? Been better. I'm sorry. About everything. I don't think I can be here anymore oh, for on, this, Allison, Tom. Please, oh, please don't. what? Just, well, just please what? Wait until you crack again? Please go to sleep with you at night and wonder if I'm gonna wake up in the morning? I mean, what do you think? Well, how I, do you expect me to I feel? I don't know exactly how you're feeling. That's uh, I, I mean, that's how I was feeling about you. I don't want to hear this well, listen, anymore. Well, just wait a second. I talked to Larry. And, uh... Well, this, this may be too little too late. And I'm... I'm sorry. But he, uh... He just he convinced me... that everything you and the doctor had said is true. And he told me about you calling me, talking to you every day on the phone and keeping vigil at the hospital and everything. And, uh, just, it's just gonna take time. I have but, no reason to lie to you. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I love you, Tom, I really do. I know, I'll I know, just... I know. It's just gonna take some time. be fine. We'll both be fine.
I phoned earlier. Uh, my name's Vale. I need a duplicate of my admitting records from my insurance company. All right. Hold on a sec. Vale Thomas J? Yes. Try to hang on to this one. Thank you. To Port West. Nurse Watkins to Port West. Larry, I got it. Where the hell you been, pal? Allison's had the whole town out looking for you. Your opening's tonight. Listen, Larry, I've got it. I've got the proof. I was admitted to the hospital only three days before I came to. Are you serious? Yeah, I found the original admitting form. There's something else. I, I, I'm beginning to remember where I was when this whole thing started. Where? Well, it doesn't matter, but if I'm right, I should be able to find the negatives. Tom. Remember what you told me. This may be exactly what they want you to do. Yeah, I know. I'll see you tonight. I had come back to Evanston hoping to retrace some of my steps leading up to my erasure. I still wasn't completely sure, but I thought that I might have taken a job in the printing plant for the Evanston Tribune. Somehow that felt right. Somehow they must have gotten a hold of me to set up their latest charade. may be exactly what they want you to do. The negative. Give me the negative. I want the negative.
want you to do. Disappearing I'm sorry, legs. I'm sorry. I just needed to clear my head. Let's get some time alone. Hey, so you didn't wear your good luck earring. They didn't go with the dress. Good luck goes with everything. Not if you're a woman. So, have you seen Larry? Oh, you know him. He's probably out in the corner scaring up a date. Yeah. Go, mingle, do your job. Okay. Active and single, I'll return your message. Just make sure to leave one. All right. right here in black and white. Tom, where have you been? I've been worried sick about you. Don't touch me. Honey, please, you said you wouldn't do... You said do a lot of things. It's too many. Please, please don't start this again. I love you. You love me? Of course. How much? Tom... How much? As much as life itself. As much as I thought you loved me. And you just liked Larry. Look how he ended up. I can't wait to see what you got in store for the man you love. What are you talking about? <sighs> you left a calling card. I don't know what you're talking about, Tom.
I guess the honeymoon is over. Uh, if it was ever real to begin with. Was it? Or are you just a memory that's stuck in my head? Like a photograph in the jungle. I take it you found the negatives. So why are they so important to you? I would be telling. Give them to me. pictures of me in a straight jacket. You should remember that. Where's hidden agenda? Well, that would be telling. I mean, the last time I showed that photograph at an opening, it was, it was nothing but trouble. I have to have that negative, Tom. They... I want the negatives, Tom. You'll have to kill me. I will if I have to. That's just a chance I'm going to have to take. I'm looking out of here. Shooting you in the back is no problem for me. Oh, well, that's true. You've already done that. I will kill you, Tom. No, you won't, Allison. You never do. come back, it becomes increasingly harder to distinguish fact from fiction, reality from utter fabrication. But I must press on. Finding the truth is my only road home. <laughs> 